Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is me Ivan, your host. Welcome back. So if you haven't checked the last episode about Saturn, there is a link in the description that is going to help you access that episode. So without further ado, let us start this episode. Today we're going to talk about one of the most underrated planets in the solar system, Uranus. And because of this, Uranus is among the most unexplored planets in the entire solar system. And I'm going to discuss with you what we know so far about this mysterious planet. Let us first start with the observational history. Today we currently know that Uranus was once catalogued as a star. But all that changed in March 13, 1781. On that day, astronomer William Herschel noticed that this star was actually a disk. But he wasn't quite sure if it was a planet or not. So he waited after a few weeks and saw that this disk was moving across the sky. And it was quickly determined that Uranus was indeed a newly discovered planet. Herschel wanted to name this newly discovered planet after the reigning king of the time, King George III. But the astronomical community didn't agree with that, so they wanted to name this newly discovered planet after either a Roman or Greek deity. So they named this newly discovered planet after the Greek primordial god of the sky, Uranus, or in English, Uranus, and we have been using that name ever since. Now that we know the observational history of, Sar of Uranus, we can now talk about the basic facts about it. Uranus is the seventh closest planet to the Sun, and it is approximately 2.8 billion kilometers away from the Sun. Since it's so far away, you might normally reason that this planet is really, really cold. Indeed, Uranus's atmosphere has a temperature of minus 220 degrees Celsius. This is cold enough to make water as hard as rock. Also, we have noticed that the rotational axis of Uranus is tilted by a very big angle. Most planets are tilted by an angle of 3 degrees, 20 degrees, 25 degrees. Our own Earth is tilted by 23.5 degrees. But Uranus is tilted by 98 degrees with respect to its orbital plane. That's strange. Astronomers are asking, what could have knocked Uranus on its side? Many think that it is a huge impact, maybe from an object several times the mass of the Earth, that knocked it over. But that isn't consistent enough. Some astronomers have seen that you don't even need an impact to make the planet tilted on its side. Some even say that it's not only one collision, but several collisions that knocked over Uranus on its side. Still, we do not know. We think that the answer can rely in its interior, and that's why many are proposing that we send a spacecraft or an orbiter on Uranus. NASA is still planning all this out, but many, and I myself, are hoping that they include a mission on Uranus. Now, let's branch out from those basic facts and see some really interesting facts about it. Unlike most planets, Uranus is mostly made of what we call ices. Okay, this is not the normal ice that you find in your refrigerator, but it is a term that is coined by astronomers who study the outer solar system. Here are these ices. There is water, like you might expect, methane, and ammonia. So this is the really special thing. There, there is more ammonia, there is more methane, there is more ices. There are more ices than there are hydrogen and helium. So that's why this planet, and Neptune included, is named an ice giant because it is so, it has such a huge abundance of these ices. Because it has so much abundance in these ices, it is blue. Methane, which is an ice, can absorb 
red light, but it can scatter blue light. That's why it is blue. But there's also another chemical, hydrogen sulfide. This chemical, you can smell it. Hydrogen sulfide, you can smell it when maybe you have rotten eggs. Rotten eggs can produce hydrogen sulfide, which makes, it, which makes them smell horribly. We find that gas in the atmosphere of Uranus, and we think because of that gas, it is also somehow green. And so that's why you get that greenish, bluish hue in its atmosphere. Notice that I've been saying atmosphere, not surface, because Uranus is com mainly made of gas. It is, it's completely gas. In fact, we have seen that probably Uranus's atmosphere can go several thousands of kilometers deep, maybe reaching in its, up to its core. So this is really, really strange. You have noticed that I've always described the interiors of the planets I've been talking about. But today, I really can't say for sure. We have not actually mapped the layers of Uranus. And why so? As I said, it's really unexplored. If we had an orbiter on Uranus, we could measure the gravitational uh, fluctuations. And those fluctuations can help us know the denser parts and the much lighter parts. And that can help us make a map of the interior of Uranus. So that is why we're really, really hoping that we can send an orbiter around Uranus. So now, remember I said that Uranus is tilted on its side by an average angle of 98 degrees with respect to its orbital plane. Because of that, we get really, really interesting seasons. So, unlike on Earth where the poles are really ice cold and the tropics are warm, it's the complete opposite on Uranus. The poles are as warm as the on the tropics on Earth. And the tropics on Uranus are as cold as the poles on Earth. You see, it's really, really, really strange. But unfortunately, I cannot say more about this planet. This planet is really, really strange. But the planet itself is not strange alone. Even the moons of Uranus are strange. You see, uh, we have counted that Uranus has an average 27 moons. But today I'm going to talk about one in particular. If you thought that Uranus was strange, take a look on this moon. This moon you see here is Miranda. Miranda's surface is strange. Really, really, really strange. I like to call it the Frankenstein of the solar system, and many astronomers like to call it that as well. And it has such a weird topography, even weirder than the one of Mars we discussed before. This topography is really weird, and right now we're struggling to understand why it has such a weird topography. So, many are proposing many different theories, many, many different theories, where one of them includes that the lighter material is still rising up and the denser material, and the denser material is still sinking down. That kind of process in satellite formation is still not over, according to some astronomers. But that's not the only theory in town. So you can really check on the internet. You're going to see many different theories on why this weird topography is there. But the, the, the orbit of Miranda itself is weird. You see, with respect to Uranus's equator, suppose the equator of Uranus is my arm. It's straight. The... Uh, the the, the orbit of Miranda is tilted by four degrees with respect to Uranus's equator. This is strange, uh, yet again, this is a mystery we're still trying to solve. And another thing, we have only mapped one face of Miranda, we have not seen the other face. And so, if we can send an orbiter, that would solve most of the mysteries about Uranus. And you'll notice 
The moons of Uranus are named after some magical characters in Shakespeare's plays. Miranda itself is a classical example. There's Auburn, Titania, and also Umbriel and Ariel, and among many more. Like, fuck. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm really sorry if you didn't get as many facts as you hoped. As you can see, it's really, really, really unexplored. It has only been explored by one, one, on, one, one, one spacecraft. The only spacecraft that has been seeing Uranus up close is Voyager 2. But there's no other spacecraft that ever took a picture of Uranus. And because of that, we have really, really few facts about it. But some astronomers are struggling to study it on Earth. In fact, people are using very powerful instruments on Earth like the Very Large Telescope, and also some are even using the Hubble Space Telescope in order to look at Uranus and try to solve its mysteries from Earth. But that doesn't just work enough. You need an orbiter to have much more facts, much more evidence, much more data in order to conclude the answers of all those mysteries we have on Uranus. So I really hope you like this video. Please remember to click the like button, to subscribe, and share with your friends. And also, let me warn you, very soon I'm going to go back to school. So in other words, I'm not going to be making as many videos as you might expect. Sometimes I will even take more than three months without making a video. And that's why I'm going to say sorry right now for delaying my uploads in the future. Because I'm going to be going to school, I'll have very few time, most of the time I'll be studying. But, you can wait, I know that you're patient, you can wait a bit more and I'm going to make other videos. But I'll be delaying and really I'm apologizing that in advance. So, thank you for watching, see you next time.